Today we are going to be reading the story Wombat Stew by Marsha K. Vaughan and Pamela Lofts. This is one of my favourite Australian books. Wombat Stew. One day, on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo caught a wombat. And decided to make wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Platypus came ambling up the bank. Oh, oh, good day, Dingo, he said, snapping his bill. What's all the water for? I'm brewing up a gooey, chewy stew with that fat wombat, replied Dingo with a toothy grin. If you ask me, said Platypus, the best thing for a gooey stew is mud. Big blobs of billabong mud. Blobs of mud? Dingo laughed. What a good idea. Righto, in they go. So Platypus scooped up big blobs of mud with his tail and tipped them into the billy can. Around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Waltzing out from the shade of the iron banks came Emu. She arched her graceful neck over the brew. Oh, Dingo, she fluttered. What have we here? Gooey, chewy, wombat stew boasted Dingo. Oh, if only it were a bit more chewy, she sighed. But don't worry, a few feathers will set it right. Feathers? Dingo smiled. That would be chewy. Righto, in they go. So into the gooey brew, Emu dropped her finest feathers. Around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy, wombat stew. Old blue tongue lizard came sliding off his sun-soaked stone. Ah, silly dingo, he hissed. There are no flies in this stew. Can't be wombat stew without flies in it and he stuck out his bright blue tongue. Oh, there's a lot to be said for flies, agreed Dingo, rubbing his paws together. Righto, in they go. So Lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flipped them into the gooey, chewy stew. Around and around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang. Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy, wombat stew. Up through the red dust popped Echidna. Wait a bit, not so fast, he bristled, shaking the red dust from his quills. Now I've been listening to all this advice, and take it from me. For a munchy stew, you need slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies. Dingo wagged his tail. Why, I should have thought of that. Righto, in they go. So Echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them into the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. The very clever dingo stirred and stirred, all the while singing, Wombat stew, wombat stew, hot and spicy, oh so nicey, wombat stew. Just then, the sleepy-eyed koala climbed down the scribbly gum tree. Oh, look here, he yawned. 
Any bush cook knows you can't make a spicy stew without gum nuts. Mmm, leave it to Koala to think of gum nuts. Dingo laughed and licked his whiskers. Righto, in they go. And into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew, Koala shook lots and lots of gum nuts. Aha! cried Dingo. Now my stew is only missing one thing. What's that? asked the animals. That fat wombat. Wait! Stop! Hang on, Dingo. You can't put that wombat into the stew yet. Why not? You haven't tasted it. Righto, I'll taste it. And that very clever Dingo bent over the billy and took a great big slurp of stew. He howled. You've all tricked me! And he dashed away deep into the bush, never again to sing. Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. The end. I hope you enjoyed that book as much as I do. Wasn't it clever of those animals to work together to poison Dingo and save their friend the wombat. What was your favourite part of the story? I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.